An undercover operation that was meant to address alleged prostitution at massage parlors in Louisville has now ended with 11 police officers fired, demoted, or suspended. Caroline Vandergriff talked to the Louisville police chief about regaining the public's trust. I would imagine that the community would be disappointed and gut punched, similar to the way the police department felt. Police Chief Brooke Rollins says the misconduct happened between October 2022 and June 2024. Officers were operating undercover to identify suspected criminal activity at 10 different massage parlors. They ended up submitting 32 criminal charges against 28 suspects to the Denton County District Attorney's Office. But the DA told the police chief they couldn't prosecute any of those cases because undercover officers had engaged in inappropriate physical contact with suspected prostitutes. Legally, there only needs to be an agreement of payment for sexual contact to establish probable cause. Anything beyond the establishment of probable cause that involves physical touching or inappropriate physical touching is not necessary and can lead to misconduct. I think that's what the DA was um, concerned about. It's certainly what was concerning to us. Criminologist and policing expert Alex Del Carmen says the chief's decisive action is key to winning back public trust and moving forward within the department. So hopefully others that may be inclined to do something, you know, uh, as, as uh, perhaps, you know, violation of policy or any other act, that they're going to take heed at this warning that the chief is sending down the, down the lines, which is it's not going to tolerate it. Several officers involved in the misconduct were reassigned to new roles in the department, but the covert operations unit will continue. It'll be important to have a clear mission, have clear and understood training and guidelines, make sure that we have um, attentive supervision, that we're communicating effectively, all the things that we've exposed or we've identified, um, just to make sure that we don't replicate a problem that happened once before. The chief did refer these cases to the Texas Department of Public Safety and the Texas Rangers for a separate criminal investigation. As of today, no criminal charges have been filed against any of the officers involved. In Louisville, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS News, Texas. Well